ABC News White House correspondent Mary Ellis Parks and ABC News business correspondent Deirdre Bolton are live with us. Thank you both for coming on. Uh, Mary Ellis, since the announcement, one of the main federal loan service providers reported experiencing extremely high website and phone traffic. So they're having issues. Studentaid.gov was apparently also having issues. How prepared is the government to execute this plan? Yeah, Dan, I think we're going to have to stay on top of that and really see. Part of what is tricky here is that a majority of borrowers, we are told, are going to have to go online and fill out a form to make sure that, that, they, that they get this if they qualify for it. They're going to have to go input their income and basically tell the federal government that they think they qualify before they see that reduction in their balance. And so studentaid.gov is where the government has said people should go to look for these forms. But you're right, overnight we saw so much interest uh, that those websites were experiencing problems. Uh, so we're going to have to see how long it takes the federal government to keep up with this interest. I mean, we know that millions of Americans will qualify for some debt relief under this plan. And so we have to keep on the government to see if they're going to be able to respond quickly to these, these, all of this interest. So, Deirdre, how do you know if you are one of those Americans who qualify? How do you apply? And, and when can you expect that money? Well, the qualification is if you make more than $125,000 a year, you do not qualify. If you are part of a couple where your household income is more than $250,000 a year, you do not qualify. But for everyone else who is beneath those salary caps, let's call it, you are qualified. So 8 million Americans are already registered with the Department of Education due to their type of loan. So they actually don't have to go through an application process. They do nothing. Automatic repayment will happen. But for everyone else, and as Mary Alice was just alluding to with you, there will be an application available in the next few weeks, is what the government says, on the Department of Education subscription page. You sign up, you ask to receive updates when the application is ready. Obviously, you put your salary in, they will obviously verify that, and then the application will be processed. But one thing the government has done is they have extended the freezing of all loans, whether you qualify or don't qualify, to the end of this year. And we have to think, in part, that's to give themselves a little bit of running room and a little bit of flexibility. So basically, no matter what your salary is, you do not have to start repaying your loans until January. And these aren't refunds for payments already made. It's just relief from the debt, whatever you have left up to that allotted amount. Exactly. And so for people who are saying, well, what if I go to school this fall? Do I qualify? Not under this program. Your debt had to have been approved, applied for, and approved by the summer. And the White House, of course, is focused on the relief that this will bring those with debt. Yeah. But critics are saying this comes at a cost to the economy, to taxpayers, et cetera. So walk us through the economic impact of this and how it's being paid for. Well, we heard our colleague Cecilia Vega talk about $500 billion. I mean, there are numerous estimates out there as to just how much it is going to cost the U.S. taxpayer. I spoke with Mark Zandi at Moody's Analytics, and he says, long story short, if we're worried about inflation, at least in his opinion, he says it will be a wash. So we do know that Americans are squeezed across the board. There is a lot of concern, you rightly point out the critics, saying this is inflationary. What if, for example, I have my loans forgiven, and then I say, oh, I'll just keep spending? Or what people are more concerned about is, what kind of precedent does this set for colleges and universities where the price tags are excruciatingly high, as is, does this encourage them to raise tuition fees, yet again saying, OK, well, the government is going to backstop this at some point. They've already done it. So that's right. a major so concern. instead of motivating colleges to try to bring those costs down, yes. critics are saying this For could do the opposite. any parent out there, they feel that pain. My kids are nowhere near that, and I'm already <laughs> worrying about it. I know. Mary Alice, with midterms so close, what kind of a political impact is this expected to have? Yeah, I don't think we know yet. I think that uh, it's still sort of reverberating through communities across the board. Uh, probably a mixed bag. You guys were talking about whether it'll be a wash with inflation. It could end up being sort of a wash politically. It could motivate some young Democratic voters who are excited by this, uh, frustrate others. Uh, it was interesting to see the reaction on Capitol Hill. We, we, you know, we were expecting the Republican backlash. That's not surprising. Uh, Democrats, a lot of them celebrating this, really applauding the White House um, and, and across the board from really progressive of members of Congress to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer celebrating this plan. I was looking overnight at some of the candidates, the Democratic candidates who are in really tough races, uh, you know, much closer, more battleground states, places like Nevada, Kansas, New Hampshire, much Ohio, much more tempered reaction from those Democrats in those close races, saying that this isn't how they would have handled this. They're worried about what message it sends. And really, um, zeroing in on what you guys were just talking about, a concern that this doesn't address 
the rising cost of tuition and long-term planning around that. All right, Deirdre, Mary Alice, great to have you both. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.